Hello! If you've been sent this video, that probably means you work in a school where YouTube is banned, and I'm going to tell you why it shouldn't be. And if you don't work in a school and you're just watching this because you're a normal subscriber of mine, well, gee, thanks. Okay, so I can only think of two reasons why a school would block YouTube. Reason number one, it's not educational. I'm sure you could find non-educational sites that aren't blocked in practically any school district, but the biggest problem with that first reason is just that it is totally false. It's very possible that your exposure to YouTube has only been things like cat videos and double rainbows, and I can't blame you for that. Until recently, that was my view of it too. But when you push through all that, you can find rich and profound masses of educational content. These can range from really abstract questions that can help pique someone's specific niche interest to the common courses all of our students take. Some channels like Khan Academy and Crash Course are supposed to supplement K-12 curricula, offering programs like math, physics, chemistry, government, economics. But I think we don't know about these opportunities because like I said earlier, when you think of YouTube, educational content isn't usually what comes to mind. And that brings us to the second reason why YouTube is usually banned in schools. A lot of content that can be found on YouTube is inappropriate for younger viewers and could get the school in trouble. Now, this critique is legitimately understandable from a school's perspective. A lot of content that's supported to YouTube can be profane or too just mature for younger audiences to see. And the comment section does sometimes become the place where people who hate humanity the most meet once a week. Fortunately, in December of 2012, YouTube for Schools began. This is a feature of YouTube for schools and districts that offers an extensive library of content that they and their top creators deem very educational. And if you find a high quality video you think should be in the library, then you can just add it. No related videos, no comments, it's just the high quality content for you and the students. With these two reasons moot, I challenge you to provide a reason why YouTube should not be allowed in school. Oh, uh -huh, you say, after I I guess becoming French. YouTube might not be a bad thing at this point, but does it actually do anything for students? This is a good question because you shouldn't just use technology just to use it. You should make sure that there's some benefit to the students. And YouTube has huge ones. Let's say your teacher isn't there one day. Instead of having a substitute assign some meaningless activity, the students could pull up YouTube and watch three lessons on the Cold War. Teachers could also play this to learn a different style of teaching and students get a different perspective on the material. But I think the biggest benefit for YouTube in schools is when kids have free time. Let's say a kid has free time and wants to catch up on material. He could go to the library and watch a video on some course. The video, unlike a class, can go at his pace because he can pause it and rewind it as he wishes, and maybe his teacher in class just doesn't mesh with him and he just isn't understanding the material and needs it presented in a different way. This would help the children learn so much, and the teachers too, and I just can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want to do this. My brother recently told me that YouTube is still not allowed in our school, but then proceeded to tell us that he actually had to watch a YouTube video for homework. It's clearly being used for good purposes, so we should just make it legit at this point. I'm not a district supervisor, so I don't exactly know how the program's implemented, but there are links in the description that can get you started. And if for whatever reason that's not working, just contact me or something. I'll help you set it up because I care that much about this. And now you, the student or teacher or viewer or whomever, should pass this on to someone in a school where YouTube is banned because people would really benefit from this. Thank you.